The European Union are having a meltdown. Why? Because Poland have decided to protect their own borders. The clash between Belarus and Poland continues and we don't really have Claudia Webb anymore to talk about Belarus or whatever she says, Belarus. But we have a big problem here now because the Polish parliament and the government have decided to protect their own borders. They even voted to build a new wall between the two nations. The European Union are not too happy because they believe in open borders. They believe in progressive new family of Star Trek for Europe unless you're running for French president. France, Macron, Michel Barnier, they're fine. They can come on TV and talk about strong borders and anti-migration and all the stuff that they talk about their re-election. But if Poland want to do it, sovereignty and democracy is out of the window. The European Union, supreme, uh, but the supremacy of the European Union always trumps anything else. Now, the problem that we have now have, the, the European media are trying to start this propaganda and the BBC are continuing the propaganda against Poland, uh, the country that wants to at least have a bit of sovereignty left inside the European Union, they say, this is a BBC article, saying they're basically copy and pasting the European propaganda, that, that it will cost just over 300 million uh, euros, this is about 297 million pounds, and some cities say that is a waste of money. Of course, it's the liberal cities, it's all the, the of course, the, the Eurofederalist who are complaining about this decision for some reason i'm not really sure why the concept of walls which which wall is basically a fence it's a big fence it's, it's just a border is now so controversial ever since donald trump brought it up back in 2015 before he even became president that countries are now saying what well, we shouldn't even have any measure any border this is a big problem now now the the, the polish government used their taxpayers money to give to contribute to the European Union's budget. Between 2004 and 2020, this is the graph that we have and that they've always contributed. Now, over time, the return on in investment in terms of the receipts that they get from the EU budget is a lot more. We know that. So they are better off inside the European Union if you just think about the budget contribution. But that's not really true, is it? The money directly goes to their treasury and their people, the management of the budget and the issue is that that money does not go back to the taxpayers. This is bribery. This is subsidies from Brussels that uh, they bribe the, the political system in Poland, the Polish government and all the others, the local authorities, the regional authorities in Poland. The money does not go to ordinary people in Poland. They take their taxpayers' money. They give it to Brussels a little bit. They take a lot back in return, but none of it will go back to the taxpayers. They introduce all these regional funds that the European Union controls. They introduce all these measures for uh, the agriculture, for all the the arts and you know cultural stuff, which doesn't really matter in terms of ordinary people's um, money and the economy, and they wonder why that they are now struggling. Now a lot of these illegal migrants are now going to come towards the UK. They're going to go through France. They're going to get on the boat. And they're going to come to the UK, and the UK border force is going to refuse to turn them around. Pretty Patel is going to come back, tweet something, make a statement. We're going to be outraged. We're going to wake up, and we're going to repeat the same process over and over again. Unless you wake up, unless we stand up to this narrative that being fed to us by the likes of the mainstream media, the liberal media and the European propaganda machine that we have created in Brussels and Strasbourg. This is going to continue unless we say something. And this channel is here to keep you guys posted on a regular basis. So if you enjoy this, subscribe to the channel and click on the bell next to it. And if you want to stay up to date with all the bonus features and all the premium content, go to my2c.co.uk and become a member on my2c. And we are the media.